Hi, here's something a bit different. Um, a Lanzi, a company I'm getting uh, more fond of. J12 external microphone for the iPhone. Um, you've got, or you should have, a receipt, um, a unit that clips into the bottom of the microphone in, in the lightning port, if they've sent me the right one, and two transmitters. How do you get into this? Is that what I saw? Oh, come on. How do you get into it? Oh, yeah. So that's what's in the box. It's a good packaging, Alansi. Uh, and in here we have. Two mics with a clip, clip, uh, clip on function, and here's the transmitter with a lightning port that goes into the bottom. This is a charging case, you can charge this case. On the bottom, there's a USB C connection. You can get this um, if you've got Android or one of the more recent iPhones um, with USB-C but I've got 14 Pro so I need the lightning. And that's all there is to it here. Wireless microphone, one of these tiny little instruction booklets. And what's this? Looks like a sticker. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, qualified certificate. <laughs> okay, that's the unboxing. Whoops, missed a bit. I'm sure we're all delighted to learn. There's a very, very short USB-C to A cable. Okay, that really is it. I'm gonna test out the ANC with the washing machine on. Um, unfortunately, there's no wind, so I can't go outside. This is just the, -phone, the iPhone mic without the Ulanzi connected. This is what it sounds like. Okay. Right, testing out the um, ANC, got the washing machine on, unfortunately I can't go outside because there's no wind or anything, it's dead quiet. Um, this is with it on ANC 1 and the washing machine on, which of course isn't cooperating, oh there it goes. Right, let's just pump it up to ANC 2. This is it with the washing machine on ANC2. Of course it's gone quiet again. Come on. Come on, here we go. Here it is with ANC2. I'll just switch to ANC3. And here it is with ANC3. Um, this is about the best test I can do at the moment. Um, as I say, there's not enough wind, well, there's no wind at all outside. Um, so there you go, you decide. You probably hear a bit of distortion on ANC3, a bit of distortion to my voice. But you should be able to judge how much, it, how effective it is. Okay.
Well, another thing I wanted to check out is whether it worked okay with the uh, Insta360 Flow. And it's very, very light, so it shouldn't make any difference at all. But the thing to do, of course, is to do um, an auto calibration, which you can do here. Yeah, calibration successful. No problem at all. There's the uh, there's the Alanzi J12 stuck in the uh, lightning bolt. Yeah, no problem at all. Well, I think the thing to do is um, go for a little spin around the block with the flow and the Alanzi, and uh, we'll see what comes out of it. Unfortunately, town at the moment is cut off when there's only one very obscure way to get into and out of Tewkesbury because of flooding. Um, so there isn't much traffic around. But I think what I'll do is put the microphone on ANC1 um, and use that as a default on a day like today when there's no wind or anything like that. And if I'm in a, an area where there's particularly, in the future, if I'm in an area where there's particularly heavy traffic or wind, I'll start cranking up the ANC. Um, but let's just go for a little walk with the flow and see what happens. Right, here we go. I've got the, um, the mic on ANC1. There's a bit of a breeze. So I quite want to see what it's like with this sort of breeze anyway. And here's some of our flooding. This is where town is very nearly cut off. See the river's up there. We'll just go for a quick walk down the block. Um, it's a bit more out of the breeze now. I can't get it. We can just sort of just what we're going to have to do is um, come back down this alleyway because that way out of St Mary's Lane is blocked off by floods. So we'll just a quick walk around this little block. Some oldish black and whites here. These windows, these big wide windows here. These buildings were originally used for seamstresses. So they needed big windows to see what they were doing. One of Tewkesbury's um, old industries. It's the Environment Agency chaps. Here's some old buildings, like this one. These ones are pretty famous. The Abbey's just the other side of them. The Arms Houses. There's the John Moore Museum. very little traffic around because um, as I say town is cut off that's another reason for having just ANC1 on but that's what a car sounds like going past on ANC1 if the traffic was heavier I'd turn up whack out the ANC more but um, I don't think there's any point with this these sort of traffic conditions
So I'm pumping out the cellar. And we'll just pop down back down this alleyway and uh, home. And that was a quick walk with the Lanzi and the Insta 360 flow, which is hopefully all working. I can't see any reason why it shouldn't. Yeah, I'm gonna stop it there. Okay, how to operate it. You press the button to turn it on, you get that green light. Right, then press the button again once, and it flashes once, that's A and C1. Press the button again, it flashes twice, that's A and C2. Again, A and C3. Press it again, and it doesn't flash, but you're back to um, no A and C. So press it again, and it flashes once when you're on A and C1. There's, there's this button on the side. There. Um, there's also a USB-C port. It comes with, this case is a charging case with a USB-C port on the bottom. So you can charge it by just simply f putting it in there as long as the case is charged up. Or you can charge it directly with uh, a USB-C cable. And that's it, it couldn't be simpler. The transmitter, you just plug into the bottom of the phone and it'll automatically turn on. Um, when you turn it on at first, when you've got the transmitter plugged in, it might flash red once or twice while it's searching for the transmitter, but that's about it. I mean, it's absolutely dead simple. So, what to say about the Alanzi J12? Well, it cost me 40 English pounds, just under. Oh yeah, turn it off. Long press. Okay, I'll put it back in its case. So what do I think about the um, J12? Well, it cost me 40 British pounds, um, which I thought was pretty, I mean, for someone like me who's no way professional, I mean, it's obviously not worth spending, you know, 300 quid on a DJI setup or something like that. Um, for someone like me who just makes videos for you know, shits and giggles really, 40 quid just about justify that um i think the anc is worth it i think the sound quality is quite good i'm not an audio file but it strikes me as being better than just relying on the iphone and the wind noise you get with the iphone um being able to crank it up in traffic and what have you uh it's worth it uh i think it gives better quality i think it's you know it's worth the 40 quid i'm glad i got it so that's it. I got mine off Amazon. I think it was thirty nine ninety nine. I think it was. Um, that's it. I'll uh, a worthwhile addition. I'll be using it the whole time. It works fine, fine with the Insta three hundred and sixty flow. Just remember to calibrate the flow when you. Uh, although it's very very light, just calibrate the flow when you uh, first before you start out, which you should be doing anyway, really. Um, and that's it. I'll uh, see you in the next one.